So we're going to go over the um, abbreviations that you see sometimes in, of course, um, nutrition. So these are the DRI, the RDA, the UL, the EAR, the DV, and I'm probably missing quite a few, but um, we'll just go over these for now. So the DRI is pretty much the one that encompasses and the one that all these other values are direct from. So what does it stand for? It stands for the Dietary Reference Index. And how is this decided? Well, a lot of, you know, scientists who are very well qualified from the National Academy of Sciences would, you know, get together and these are the people who has done a lot of research on nutrition. And they decide, you know, how much does a healthy person, like a Canadian or United States person, would need on a daily basis to keep themselves healthy. And from the DRI, you derive the RDA, which is the Recommended Dietary Allowance. And sometimes you also get the uh, Adequate Intake, too. These are just, you know, the daily values for a healthy person to have. And, you know, there's also the UL, which is the upper levels um, tolerant intake. If you go over it, you probably will run into adverse effects because you have too much nutrition in your system. Um, you know, it could result in obesity for one or, you know, just vomiting and all these other fun symptoms. <laughs> But um, if you go under the EAR, the, you know, the estimated average requirement, then, you know, you get malnutrition, specifically undernutrition, um, and which then can lead to, well, specifically for protein deficiency, it could lead to the uh, Kowalka's core or the uh, Marasmus which is just not pleasant. Um, they're just when you have really deficient and uh, mostly related to children in developing countries who are suffering from hunger. So, um, that's it.